What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix we can't sign you into your Xbox Live on your Windows 11 and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into this step. So first one, just go over here, search for the settings and you have to click on this one. And from here, what we need to do is directly navigate to the apps. Now from here, go to install at apps. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to search here for what we need to search here for the Microsoft Edge. You can search for the Edge like this. And if you find the Microsoft Edge, select this one and click on the three dot menu and go for modify so that it go for yes. Right now, they're going to ask you for repair, which means repairing Microsoft Edge requires internet connection and we reinstall the browser, which means your data won't be affected. So just go for repair, which means reinstalling will be done. Once afterwards, I'm going to skip this part because it is going to take a lot of time. So once the reinstalling is done, you have to check and most probably afterward, just go over here, search for Xbox. Now click on the three dot menu and from here, click on the advanced option. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to repair and reset. Now do both these two things and you have to close this and similarly go back to search for the apps. Once again, over here, you have to click on the settings and navigate to the apps. Now from here, navigate to installed apps. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to search here for installer apps. This time, go for Xbox Live. And right now, click on three dot menu and we have to go for advanced option. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to repair and reset. Once both these two things are done, you just need to close this and you have to check. Next one is all about what we need to do is just go over here, search for the services and you have to click on this one. And right now, what we need to do is we just need to go over here on the bottom. You can just go over here at the bottom. So at the bottom, you can see there are few, four things which are very important. That is Xbox Accessory Management Service, Xbox Live Auth Manager, Xbox Live Game Saver and Xbox Live Network Services. So right click on this one, right click and go to the properties. Now from here, make sure this is on automatic and the service status is running. Similarly, go for Xbox Live Auth. Make sure it is service status is running. Go for the Xbox Live game save, make sure it is automatic. Go for apply and the service status was stopped, so make sure it is up and running. And once afterwards, go for the last one, that is Xbox Live network service right click, make sure it is automatic. Service status should be running and go for OK. And once all these things are done, we just need to close this and we need to move to the next one. Next one is after trying with this, you just need to go back over here, search for the Xbox. Now we need to sign in with your L I mean, we have to sign in into your account. So if you have already signed in, you just need to log out and you have to log in back. And that's what you have to try. Most probably when you sign in with your Xbox account once again, which means you have to log out and then log in back and you have to check. That's going to fix the issue as well. So these are the steps and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.